Hello everyone and welcome to Go Learning. I am sure many of us and especially children must have read at least one book written by the famous author Roald Dahl. Today we will see few things about his life. There may be no 20th century children's author as well known as Roald Dahl. His beloved stories including James and the Giant Peach Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Matilda, The Witches and many other have sold hundreds of millions of copies worldwide. Dahl had a rough upbringing. Born in Wales to Norway parents, he was just a toddler when he lost his older sister and his father within weeks of each other. A few years later, he was shipped off to a series of boarding schools where he was beaten and hazed. He wrote about these experiences in an autobiography titled Boy Tales of Childhood but they also inspired the macabre plots and characters in his novels which often feature children rebelling against their violent adult oppressors He sought a career that would allow him to see the world During the Second World War rank ramping up he joined the Royal Air Force began flight training in Kenya and was assigned to fly a biplane in 1940 dal was given an incorrect flight route that took him over no man's land his plane crashed and he suffered several facial and skull fractures though he eventually recovered and flew in several more air battles he started to get headaches so bad that led to blackouts and he was sent home to britain after returning to england he was sent to work at the british embassy in washington dc later he worked as an intelligence officer his charisma and charm made him a hit with politicians at this time he also started to write about his adventures in the royal air force which were published in leading magazines like the Saturday Evening Post after publishing collections of stories for adults he turned to writing for children his first success was in 1961 James and the Giant Peach Dahl was demonstrably anti-semitic in a 1983 interview with a new statement he said There is a trait in the Jewish character that does provoke animosity. I mean, there's always a reason why anti-anything crops up anywhere. Even a stinker like Hitler didn't just pick up on them for no reason. He also added, I am certainly anti-Israeli and I have become anti-Semitic in as much as that you get a Jewish person in another country like England strongly supporting zionism i think they should see both sides in 2020 his family issued an apology for his anti-semitic comments speaking of his personal life he married an american actress and had five children in 1960 when their third child and only son was 4 months old His baby carriage was hit by a New York City taxi cab. The baby suffered several injuries. In 1962, his oldest daughter Olivia died at the age of 7 because of measles. The experience made him a major supporter of immunization. Just 3 years later, his wife suffered a major stroke in her head. that put her in a coma for several weeks his wife divorced him in 1983 after finding out he was having an affair with one of her best friends dhal himself died in 1990 of a rare blood cancer he is buried in england near his long time home to this day families and children visiting his grave leave toys behind a thank you for his mini stories thanks for watching go learning